Hi, this is James from OnlineITGuy.com and today I'd like to talk to you about USB flash drives. Now you can call them thumb drives, jump drives, flash drives, USB drives. Basically what they are is some flash memory similar to what you'd use in a digital camera with a USB port on them so that they can plug directly into a camera and some circuitry that tells the computer that they're a drive. Um, USB drives have a lot of advantages. One is their small size. Um, some of them come no larger than a thumbnail. They're light. They're easy to carry around. I have one that's shaped like a key on my keychain. It blends right in. takes up no space on the keychain. Um, so they're easy to take along and carry with you. Um, with flash drives are growing in size so that um, you can put more and more data on them. You can fit a lot of songs on, on, a, on, a, on an 8 gigabyte uh, flash drive. Um, and you can put a pretty long uh, digital video on, on a, on a 8 gigabyte flash drive also. Um, they're also very durable. Um, I've heard of flash drives being washed in, in a clothes washer without any problems. Um, there's no mechanical parts in them so that, um, like a hard drive, so they're, they're not likely to fail that way. Um, they can withstand being moved around and, and dropped a little bit. Um, so they're fairly durable. So um, there's a lot of convenience in uh, keeping a USB flash drive with you. And there's a lot of different things that you can also do with a USB flash drive. Obviously, the, one of the more popular ones is to uh, transfer some files from one computer to another if you don't have a network connected. Um, you know, nice way to transfer songs from one, one computer to another or some video. Um, that's one of the more obvious uses of them. Um, you can use your USB drive as a key to keep people from using your computer unless that particular USB drive is plugged in. There's some disadvantages with that idea. Um, you can run software on them. Um, portable apps is one of my favorite um, types of software to run on a USB drive. Um, you can put it on your, on, your, uh, on your flash drive, carry it around with you, plug it into any computer that you, commit, that, that you need to use and have all the software that you normally use along with you. When you take the drive out, it leaves nothing left on the computer. Really convenient and really good software. And you can also use a USB flash drive as additional memory for your, com for your Windows computer. Um, Windows can, uses something called ReadyBoost when you plug, it, uh, plug in a USB drive. And it can it help speed up things a little bit. Another good use of a USB flash drive might be saving some important data and keeping it somewhere safe. You, uh, maybe uh, a digital copy of your passport or your birth certificates and your insurance papers. Um, leaving it with a relative where you can keep it safe. A good idea might be encrypting that information so that somebody who comes across it just can't open it up and, and get that information and use it for themselves. Um, but that's one additional idea that you can use for a flash drive. Um, there are some disadvantages of a flash drive. Obviously, if you're going to carry your flash drives around with you a lot, uh, losing them is a, is a real concern. Again, keeping important information that you might carry on there encrypted is, is a good idea. Um, Another problem with um, a flash drive is there's malware that is targeting uh, flash drives in particular. Um, it installs itself so fast that you can't see it when it's installed. Once you plug it into a computer, it installs malware on that computer and then tries to infect more flash drives that are plugged into that computer. You can see where this would happen in a school where suddenly um, a cup, one student with an infected drive could suddenly in, in, uh, cause a large number of the computers in the school and, and of the students in their homes also to get infected. So malware is something that you want to be real careful. Scan a drive before, uh, when you put it into a computer right away, make sure it's not infected. Um, and there is one, another disadvantage with flash drives and that's if you're constantly saving large files and deleting them off your drive, Flash drives can actually wear out eventually, and if you're using your computer, your flash drive for um, Ready Boost on your Windows computer, that's one thing that can tend to wear them out a little bit faster. Um, most people never come across this, but it is something that can cause um, eventual, eventually cause the drive to fail. Okay, what are some things to look for if you're planning on buying a USB flash drive? Well, first of all, stick with the name brand: Lasai, Corsair. Uh, SanDisk, Lexar, um, Kingston, Patriot, uh, Iron Key. Um, those are well-known brands for flash drives. They're also many of them are computer memory manufacturers. Um, stick with the name brands because there's a lot of cheap ones out there, and you'll find the performance on the cheap drives is really uh, leaves a lot to be desired. Um, this 
speed of the drive that you buy is also very important because it's going to take you're going to spend a lot of time waiting for things to upload and download especially if you buy a larger drive um, so uh, the best way to do that is to check the reviews on Amazon and Newegg before you buy see what other people said about the speed of that drive um, if a lot of people said it was really really slow maybe look for a different model different or a different manufacturer um, I would recommend that you start looking at drives in the 18 to 16 uh, gigabyte um, area. Those are sizes that are appropriate for a lot of the files that are in use right now. Um, a lot smaller and yeah, you can get them a little cheaper, um, but um, you'll find you fill them up really quick. Um, a lot larger and you're going to find that you just seems like it's a big monster that you don't want to plug into your computer because it's got so much stuff on it. Um, also, uh, make sure that you get an actual SB, USB 2.0 or a USB 3.0 drive and not a USB 2.0 compatible or a USB 3.0 compatible. Um, a lot of cheaper drives use that compatible thing on the end. They usually give you a 1.0 drive, a 1.1 drive, USB drive instead of a 2.0. It's a lot slower, has a lot to do with, with um, the speed of your drive and how well it can transfer data to your, to your computer. Um, Pay attention to the size and shape. There's a lot of gimmicky shapes and stuff like that. Like I said, you can get them in the shape of a, a cartoon characters and stuff like that. Um, if you have a big bulky drive and you're trying to plug it into the back of a computer that's got a bunch of um, bunch of cords coming out of it, it can be kind of a hassle. Sometimes you have to because it just simply doesn't fit in there. So pay attention. Smaller drives are a little bit nicer, but so, small drives can also be a problem. Where I've got a cheap drive, it doesn't plug into all the computers all the way simply because it's too small. Um, a lot of drives now come with uh, rubberized coating to protect them. You know, that's fine. Don't pay any extra for that. Um, in most cases, the drives themselves are fairly durable. The rubberized coating isn't going to make it any more waterproof or anything like that. Um, there are some extra, extra durable drives like Iron Key. Um, if you really think you're going to be needing something that's capable of surviving uh, what those things are capable of, um, you're going to pay a lot of money for it, but it might be worth it for you. Um, Built-in encryption. Um, software encryption that's included with most of the drives isn't um, really reliable, doesn't work on all different types of computers all the time, and often is very slow, kind of buggy. Um, there's free software available for your computer that um, will encrypt, encrypt data on your computer for you. Um, it's, that's free, so you don't need the soft encryption software from, um, that's included with a drive, so that's not a feature. Hardware encryption is something different, though. Um, Iron Key, the USB flash drive manufacturer, is known for its hardware encryption. It's very good, works on all different types of computers. Um, again, you pay a lot more for uh, flash drives that have hardware encryption included, though. Um, and in general, software that's included with the flash drive really isn't very useful. Uh, maybe copy it and then format your drive. Um, there's better software out there available, like portable apps, it's free. Um, some of the best software available on the internet um, for your computer period. Um, so maybe take a look at portable apps if you want software that runs on uh, your USB drive. Um, USB drives are still very useful. Um, they haven't completely been outdated by you know things like Dropbox or something like that. Um, but um, make sure you do scan them for malware before you use them on your computer. Um, and I hope you found this video useful. Please give me a thumbs up on YouTube. Uh, please visit my site, onlineitguide.com. Love to see your comments there. Have a great day.